So having worked at the company for a while now, and obviously seeing the company go through different stages, what drives IPA to do what we do today? I really believe that as a recruitment company, there is nothing that we can value more than our people. I keep saying that we make it our business to create relationships for life, the ins, the outs, the good, the bads, the ups and downs, and everything in between. We're driven by the idea that careers are unique and the way we should recruit people should be tailored to their needs. What we understand is that every career is different. We tailor our services to meet the unique needs of our clients and candidates. We use the word journey to describe a career because depending on the person we're working with, that journey can be widely different and can take you to some really extraordinary places. In such a competitive industry, um, what separates IPA from the rest of the recruitment agencies out there? Look, in such a competitive and fast-paced industry, we pride ourselves on our people-first approach. Uh, to that end, social impact is at the core of everything we do. We're able to achieve this because we contribute 100% of our profits to our parent company, GenU, and they help people that are living with disability or are disadvantaged. And I really think that is one of the most significant differentiators that we have. We don't just exist to make shareholders rich or to make board members rich, but to actually enrich the lives of people in each of the communities in which we operate that don't have the same access and privileges that we all have. So from your personal experience working here at IPA over the years, what's the most rewarding thing about working for a social enterprise recruitment company? Oh, look, there are so many stories, but I think really two stand out for me. We had a significant contribution to a women's shelter supporting people who were fleeing domestic violent environments. And we invested heavily in this local shelter where kids on a Saturday morning would be able to go if mum or dad had left home with nothing but the clothes on their back and the kids were able to be fitted out in whatever sporting uniform they needed. And I remember being up there on a weekend and seeing two young kids walk out with brand new outfits ready to play soccer it was, and both of them being so excited about being fitted out in brand new equipment. And one of them said, look, it feels like Christmas, but it's really early. And I stood there and I remember smiling internally because we actually make meaningful changes to the lives of people in communities who may not even be utilizing our services. And I just love that aspect of IPA.